Today we're going to be checking out the Racer Power 16 scale ready to run RC truck. This is supposed to be more for adults, a more hobby grade RC basher, but I'm going to be the judge of that because if you watch this channel and some of my other channels, you know I'm very experienced with RC stuff, so we're going to check it out. We're going to crash it, we're going to bash it, we're going to see what it's made of to help you decide if this is the right truck for you. So let's go ahead and open it up. And boom, there it is. That was the easiest unboxing I've ever done. Check out this little 16 scale truck here. Very cool. It's got some nice feeling shocks. They are friction shocks. We're gonna get into all that in just a moment. We're gonna pop the top, look inside. But I think what we need to do first is let's go over everything that you're gonna get. So you get the truck, you get the transmitter, you're gonna get a battery. It is a two cell, 7.4 volt, I believe. Yep, 7.4 volt battery. That is 1300 mAh, and you're gonna get a USB charger. On top of that, you have a screwdriver, a wheel wrench, and a full set of body clips, and then you're gonna have your manual as well. So let's go ahead, get out of the grass, open this thing up, see what's inside, and then we're gonna to get to bashing. All right, so here's the little truck. And as I was saying before, it does have friction shocks all the way around. They're not oil filled. The tires are air filled tires, but they are a pretty soft compound. It's gonna be great for the street. You're gonna get nice wear out of these. Let's open it up and look. You get two bodies, I didn't even know that. You get the red one and you get the blue one, how cool. So those body clips in there are actually a second set. We'll go ahead and pull these clips off, look inside, and there you go, you have a second battery. So you do get two batteries, which is really cool. You have a three wire servo. You do have a, looks like a little 370 brush motor. You do have metal gears, you do have metal CVs in the front and you have metal CVs in the back, non-adjustable camber and tow. And it seems like uh, you might have to tighten that servo saver up a little bit, but they give you a screwdriver to do that. So very cool. And you have a couple of LEDs in the front. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna charge the batteries up and we're gonna give this thing a run. All right, so we had to provide three AA batteries for the transmitter, no big deal. The steering, seems quite quick which is a nice feature to have and uh, just to show you the remote up here this is actually your speed control so if you want it to be slower for a novice driver you turn that down if you want it faster you turn it all the way up and then this is to align your steering as I turn this knob it's like giving your car a front-end alignment that way it drives more straight and true very very cool all right I'm gonna go down the street Just follow it. Alright, I'm going to come back and jump in the grass. Alright, so it can go in the grass. Very nicely. Durability test. All right, time for a durability test. What do you think, pass? 
So overall, this is a nice little beginner RC car. It's a lot of fun. It's very durable. I think kids can drive this no problem. I know the listing does say adult, but you can actually turn the speed down so it's kid friendly as well. And this is going to be a great little truck to introduce somebody to the sport of RC. And with all the crashing and hitting poles that I did, it didn't break, it held up just fine. So if you get this for somebody new, they're not gonna be frustrated with repairs and such and things like that. So very, very cool. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.